If you're a digital storyteller or content creator like me, then you've probably filmed yourself in some less than ideal situations, which can be very challenging when editing your audio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I balance my dialogue, voiceover, and music in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we have a full vlog that will go live on my channel about a trip I took to Atlanta. I've organized everything in my timeline and also added some music tracks from Storyblocks as well. Some of my audio where I'm talking to the camera sounds pretty good with little to no edits. However, some of it sounds pretty bad because I was too far away from the camera or the microphone was just too low. You can tell by the waveforms right there. Wow. We saw a lot of places and it's only 145 right now. And, and we had lunch. And we had lunch. We're, at, we're in the Pond City Market under garage thing. Anyway. Not a compromise. <laughs> All right, so let's clean up the audio in this section here. We were sitting in a noisy, low-lit parking garage. I'll show you how to clean this up in two different ways. So my personal favorite way is to use the Effects and Sense tab in the Audio Track Mixer. I like using this because you can make blanket effects for an entire track. To get there, you go to your Audio Track Mixer and twill down the arrow in the top hand corner. This will show all the different slots where you can add audio effects and filters. My two favorite filters are Parametric Equalizer and the Hard Limiter. Those are the ones I love to use. For the Parametric Equalizer, I set it to Vocal Enhancer. This brings out the frequencies common when people speak and limits the background noise a bit as well. The second is the Hard Limiter. The audio is very low on this clip, so setting the Hard Limiter to negative one or negative three dB will help increase the gain. From here, we can do any final gain adjustments to get our dB levels where we want them to be. For any dialogue in my videos that doesn't have music under it, I usually like the volume to be anywhere between like negative nine and negative 15 dB. All right, let's have a listen and see what we got. Oh, leading up to this trip, I kept saying, or I thought like, man, should I have scheduled so much time? Did I over schedule the amount of time we're gonna be here? Cause we're here for six days. Another way I can clean this up is by using the Essential Sound Panel. This way is super fast because with each update, Adobe Premiere Pro adds more and more to this panel. With the audio highlighted, go to the Essential Sound Panel and label it Dialog. From there, select Clean Up Noisy Dialog and watch Premiere work its magic. You'll see it's cleared up everything by a lot and even boosted the gain as well with just one click. Wow. We saw a lot of places and it's only 145 right now. And we had lunch. And we had lunch. We're, at, we're in the Pond City Market. Wow. We saw a lot of places and it's only 145 right now. And, and we, we had lunch. And we had lunch. We're, at, we're in the Pond City Market. Another one you might want to try is podcast voice. Also, you can always go into the panel and make fine adjustments based on whatever it's done. Let's have a listen. Wow, we saw a lot of places and it, it's only 145 right now. And, and we had lunch. And we had lunch. We're, at, we're in the Pond City Market. All right, I've shown you both options because depending on where you're filming and what's going on in the background, one might work better for you than the other. So now you have both. Now, let's say you've gotten your dialogue where you want it and you're ready to add some music. For my vlogs, I like to add music to set the tone for a piece and also, if necessary, audibly reduce some issues like background noise. Hey, we've all been there, okay? Can't get annoyed with a loud AC when some solid lo-fi beats are playing, am I right? I'm going to use a track I found from Storyblocks' extensive royalty-free library. With one of their subscriptions, you get the freedom of unlimited downloads for one set price and not just for music. It includes sound effects, footage, and a lot more. So now I'm going to show you my favorite tool to edit music in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's so good, I cannot wait to let y'all see this. Let's say you found your favorite Storyblock song and you want to add it, but it's too short or it's too long. Let's fix it using the Essential Sound Panel. I want this song to go for this entire section, right? So with the song highlighted, okay, I'm going to open up the Essential Sound Panel again and label it music. 
So once it's labeled, I like using the balance background music preset to immediately just kind of drop it down against my dialogue. Now I'm going to go to the duration section and toggle on remix. This feature is so cool. All right, so I want this song to be longer, roughly three minutes to cover the whole section of this vlog, right? So I'm going to type in that amount. And boom, it literally re-edited the song using the power of Adobe Sensei, which is their AI. And I didn't have to do anything. So those zigzags that you see are all the sections of the song it's repeating. I'll play a section for you now so you can see what it sounds like. You can use Remix to shorten songs that are too long or make songs longer. It's a quick and easy tool to edit your favorite Storyblocks tracks. All right, I've shown you two ways to edit dialogue for your videos using the effects and sends and the audio track mixer and using the essential sound panel. I've also shown you my favorite tool for editing music quickly and easily. Hopefully, hopefully, I've saved you some headaches, some heartaches, and some time on your next video edit. I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. Be sure to subscribe to Storyblock's channel, check out the other tutorials in this playlist, and click the link in the description if you want to learn more about their subscription plans.